Hi, this video is going to address an important distinction when dealing with things that are mutable. The distinction between two things being equivalent and two things being identical. Here are two lists, first and second. Though they have the same contents, they are actually different lists. They have independent destinies. We'll see exactly what that means in a second. Because they have the same contents, the equals equals operator will consider them to be equal. This type of equality is known as equivalence. However, changing one has no effect on the other. This means that while the two lists are equivalent, they are not identical. Now let's look at this slightly different program. Instead of assigning another list to the variable second, we just assign the value of first. This actually has pretty important implications. The equals equals operator behaves the same way in this case. It decides that first and second are equivalent. However, if you change one of the variables, that change will be reflected in the other one. In addition to being equivalent, first and second are identical. So how do we tell if two things are identical besides trying to mess one thing up and seeing if the other one gets messed up too? Python has a handy keyword for this exact purpose, the is keyword. You can use it instead of equals equals in order to ask if two things literally are the same thing. In this case, since both variables refer to exactly the same list, the Boolean expression returns true. Going back to the case where we have two different lists, this expression returns false. Whereas equals equals only cares if the two things have the same contents, is cares whether they are the same thing. It's important to understand the concept of identity when you pass mutable things as arguments. Take a look at this example. We have a list called my list with the numbers 3, 4, and 5. When we call the function called func, l becomes another reference to the same list. That is to say, for the time being, my list and l are identical. This means that whatever happens to l secretly also happens to my list. When the function returns, my list is not the same. It has been affected by func. Now, let's say you pass something immutable, like a string, as an argument. There's no way to change an immutable thing. You can only replace it. This means you don't really have to worry about functions changing your strings. Check this out. We call the function on the string. And for a second, s is indeed identical to my string. But it doesn't matter, because all we do is completely replace s with a new string. My string is intact, and s now refers to a different string that was created out of my string and an exclamation point. This new string doesn't survive past the end of the function, and my string is unchanged. In general, the distinction between equivalent and identical is less critical with immutables simply because you cannot affect what one variable sees via another variable.